Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Xcode 6 and the Swift programming language to um, create a app, create an app. Um, I'm going to go over most of my videos to this point, almost all of them, have been using uh, previous versions of Xcode and Objective-C. So I thought it was about time to um, demonstrate how you can use Swift and um, some of the changes that were made in Xcode 6. Um, so you notice you open up, you have something that looks like this. Um, you probably don't have a list of uh, projects here. I do since I have a bunch of projects I've worked on. But um, you would want to just uh, open, um, create a new Xcode project right here. And when this comes up, you can just go with single view, make sure you're an iOS and it's an application, and hit next. Um, you can just give your name. We'll say you know, my first Swift project. Um, whatever your organization name, you can put it in there. Usually the organization identifier is com. Whatever your um, organization is. Um, and then you choose the language. We're going to, as I said, work in Swift. I will make a follow up video to this for um, demonstrating some of the changes that were made when, if you still wanted to stick with Objective-C, um, but there's some changes that are new to the Xcode 6 that uh, might be helpful if I point it out. So anyway, though, we're going to go on. We'll go with the iPhone. Um, choose iPhone, not Universal or iPad. Just easier when doing demonstrations. So hit Next. Save it somewhere that makes sense for you. Hit Create. And you come to this uh, default window. And one of the big changes with, um, with Swift is you have these file types that are .swift instead of, uh, and you get just one file instead of two. With Objective-C, you had a .h, uh, the header file, and .m, which was the implementation file. And so now we just have um, viewcontroller.swift, so everything's kind of in one. And let me, I'm just going to show you real quick how we can... Um, do a simple program in here. So you notice that the other thing, I'm going to, um, let me bring this all into the screen here. I'm going to get rid of the little side panel. And you notice this is a large, looks almost almost looks like an iPad, but you can come over here and say, you know what, I'm going to use the 4.7, which is the iPhone 6. You can choose either one, and I will show you in further projects, and further tutorials, how you can um, program it so that your display is the same though, no matter which one you choose over here. Okay, so anyway, uh, I chose 4.7. I'm going to just throw on a label here. So I'm searching down here. Make sure you have the um, show the object library checked. And then when you search for label, this should come up. You can throw this over here. Uh, I'm going to say my label. And then I'm going to search for a button. And I'll throw that over here. Say my button. And so to get some uh, interactivity with these guys, we're going to connect them and make an outlet for our label and an IB action for our button. Um, so the, uh, the assistant editor um, actually looks a little different when you're using uh, operating system Yosemite, which I, uh, I'm using here. If you're using a prior operating system, it probably looks like a little tuxedo. But you're going to click, click on those two little intersecting Secting circles, and we want to make sure we're in the view controller.swift. And so, here's a big change like you used to drag outlets and IB actions to the header file, but now you can just drag it anywhere inside um, your dot swift file. It takes a little getting used to that, so you just click and I'm holding down the control key and dragging and dropping. Um, I'll call this my label. Hit connect. No need to synthesize or anything like that because we're already we're already in the implementation file. The header and the implementation file are kind of combined. Um, I'm going to drag over the same way for the button, and I'm going to select the action. And I'm going to say um, change text. So when I click on this button, it will change the text. Click that, and this is really simple. Uh, it's, this part here is very simple to. Um, how you do it in Objective C, right? My label dot text. Only I didn't have to synthesize anything. And then there's no, you don't need the at symbol. You just can do quotes. 
and I'll say hello world, which is the obligatory first um, program you make in any language. And you don't need semicolon at the end of the line either. That's a that's one that takes a little getting used to. Um, so save that, and you can run it. And take a second to come up here on the emulator. There we go. My button, and there's hello world. I could increase the size of my label so that it would fit in there. I just have to do something like that. I'll center it. Yeah, and if I run it again, now I should see hello world, the whole thing. Perfect. All right, so that's it. That's just your quick little introduction to Xcode 6 and Swift. I'm going to have many follow-up tutorials, and we're going to build a nice slick app using Swift, and you'll learn a lot about Swift in the process. Thank you, and subscribe.